I'm Felix Kunz. This is part two of my traveling bag video series. I've done the camera bag um, video, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that first. So in my backpack, this is um, kind of the one that goes under the seat in front of you in the airline. My camera bag is going to go in the bin above. I have, um, it's kind of, it starts to get into kind of my personal stuff, you know, shoes, um, medicines, things like that, that I put in here. Um, but I want to show you guys how I arrange also a couple of other things and the little things I bring with me. This is my entertainment pocket in the front here in my Manfrotto backpack. And it's where I also keep my passport. My, my passport, I always keep it in the same place because I hate that moment when I'm at the airport and I go, oh, I, didn't, I didn't bring my passport when it's actually in a different pocket than what I'm normally used to. Um, I travel a lot, so I put my passport in a Hawks Mill leather case. Um, they make kind of camera bags and um, they gave me a little um, passport case because my last passport almost fell apart and um, you don't want that falling apart when you're in the middle of a foreign country and you can't get home. I've got my iPad in here loaded with all my favorite shows so I can watch something on the plane and my Kindle because I try to pretend to be somewhat intellectual and read books every now and again, although I rarely end up doing it. So that all goes in the front pocket, so I always know where the most important pieces are. In the side pocket, I have my laptop charger, laptop case. The great thing about the new MacBook Pro is it comes with a charger that you can use. If you get the USB-C to lightning port cable, you can use that to charge, do fast charging on your iPhone, which is amazing. And I use it all the time. So I also have that cable with me. So I'll stick that back in here. And it's always in the same pocket because that's the most important thing for me when I'm traveling is knowing where everything is. Now, I have my AirPod case. I'm using these for a Bluetooth microphone, not for fashion as a fashion statement, but I love these things and I have them in the side pocket. Again, I know where they are when I'm traveling and, you know, bleary eyed on a 12 hour flight. Then I have the most reliable camera I've ever used, my Sony RX100 version two. I stuck with version two because it still has a hot shoe mount, which means I can attach a trigger and hand it to an assistant for behind the scenes photos where the lights that I'm using are also triggering in the behind the scenes photos. This thing has literally been in the desert. It's been in Iceland, gotten wet. It's, I once spilt sunscreen all over it in a bag and left it for a couple of days. Like this thing just does not give up. I shot the Holy Festival in India with this, you know, where they throw all the powder. It's just covered in my microscopic powder it still works like like the first day I got it. So that's my behind the scenes camera and I always have it in here and it's great for playing around with. So that's in that pocket. Actually, I'll leave this out here. And down in the bottom, I also have the spare batteries. I don't have a fancy case for them because I just want them to be where the camera is. Good, then I have in here at the top, this is a laptop bag. So I'll tell you what these guys are in a second. Then I have my Moleskin notebook, obviously, for making notes and inspired ideas while I'm traveling. And one of the things I've been doing lately is I've been printing out a calendar, super old school. If you can show me an app that does it faster than just handwriting it into a calendar, let me know. But I've just, I'm just done with fiddling around on the phone, you know, entering time, date, location for every single calendar event when I can just write a one word thing. You know, if I have a shoot, I just write, Dr. Mike on the 19th, done. I know I don't need to spend so much time in the calendar. It's just, I am very tech savvy, but that just gets too much for me. Let's see what else is in this Pandora's box. Then I have a 2200, 22,000, um, what is it, mega amps? MAH, whatever that is. It's uh, the power unit of the phone. This charges my iPhone about five times and it's absolutely the most useful thing when I travel. It's a huge power bank and I bought it in the UK. Um, there's plenty of those on the market. Oh, my Yui Boom for music on set. Always bring music to set. It's gonna help you so, so, so much. And let's see what else I have in here. Oh yes, one of the most important things is a aux cable. And I have the iPhone adapter attached. The only time I'd still use an aux cable without wireless or Bluetooth um, audio is in a rental car. So this is always very, very useful iPhone charger, gum, pen. Let's see what else is in here. Ah, there you go, a journey of discovery. And then the last thing, there's a pocket on the bottom here. 
because you'll see this when I show you my traveling kit bags. Airlines want you to bring lithium ion batteries on the plane with you. They don't want you to check them in luggage. My airline, I usually fly Delta, tells me to please tape over or insulate your um, the contacts or the metal contacts on the battery, I guess, to stop them from shorting against each other. So I'm carrying three of my ELB 400 by Ellen Chrome batteries and all of the contacts and terminals are taped over. So I take them in my hand luggage because I've had it before where I checked them in my luggage and I had to get bumped onto the next flight because they had to retrieve my luggage from the x-ray and get me to take my batteries out of the check bag. So that's my laptop bag. There's still space in here. Usually I carry a pair of shoes in this bag as well, a spare pair of shoes. I try to get as much weight into my carry-on when I'm traveling internationally so that I can fit more stuff. So I took these out earlier. This is my, it has like Tylenol, Imodium. You know, I don't usually handle headaches by taking a pill because it's usually dehydration or some exhaustion thing. But, you know, when you're on a flight and you can't handle it any other way, that works well. Um, so I have all my little things just in case. You know, I'm often going to places where I don't necessarily have access to modern medicine, so I can kind of handle most problems right there. Um, this is my little bag that has, let's see, a sleep mask, earplugs, essential for the airplane, and little things like iPhone charger cables, um, you know, uh, Apple Watch cable, another sleep mask, uh, another spare set of headphones for, uh, it's got lots of cables in here, headphones for when you're on the plane and they don't have, you know, Bluetooth headphones. So those kind of things. Um, so that kind of wraps up my laptop bag. I usually have space in here also for some shoes. I try to get all the heaviest things into my carry-on so I have more space to check stuff in my, um, my actual kit bags, which I'll show you in a minute. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to uh, get you guys as much technical information about how I shoot and I'm um, really enjoying it. And feel free to comment if you have any questions. I'll check in regularly.